Hello everybody, it's me, Quasi, and I got a new video for you guys. This one might take a little time to get done in editing. It's going to be a long project. It is going to be a craft project, even though it's not going to be um, doing with foam and everything else, but sort of it is, okay? I'm going to take this shed here, and I'm going to fix it up, and I'm going to turn it into my own little shop for all my projects. There's going to be a big huge thing about it. I'm hoping to get a power generator in here, maybe some solar panels, some solar panel lights in here and everything else. Just kind of going off the grid with this shed because it's too far away from the house and I do not want to run power to it. But this is also a shed I will have to share with stuff that has to get put in there during the winter. So I probably will not be using it during the winter, but the rest of the time I will, unless I can come up with some money and get myself a new shed. But anyways, I'm going to give you guys a look at kind of what I've started in here already, which isn't really much. But let's get to it. Okay, as you guys can see, you can't really see much in here. I know there's not a lot of light. I still got my ladder in here. I've got a bunch of my stuff already packed in here. Uh, one of the things I had to do is take the wife's uh, saddles that she had when she had horses and stuck them up there and stuff up some other stuff So that storage I can't use but that's fine. I still got plenty of room with the rest of the place in here I wish I could get Some lighting in here That's not too bad. I wish I, I mean, it doesn't look like it's very big guys But uh, I do got some stuff in here I'm gonna have to work around or play with and figure out what I'm gonna do, but uh, I want to take that wall and that wall there and basically in the back wall and I'm thinking about um, putting drywall up there and then maybe painting the green the walls green and maybe do some uh, uh, stuff with the you know with green screens and see how that works like I said right now I just pop some stuff in here uh, that's pretty much one reason why I haven't had a video on that Viking house that I'm supposed to be doing out anytime soon because uh, you know, it'd be in the holidays and uh, graduations, 4th of July, but I'm slowly working on it and I'll probably show video of me doing certain things in here. I don't know exactly, but like I've already taken some stuff and I've took in foam, which has already fallen out here and there, which is no big deal. Uh, and, but I'm going to go in there and see, I want to seal this off. We're going to take right about in here somewhere I'm gonna put a window I found some online really cheap so I'm gonna put one in here for a shed window and I want to cross so I get a cross uh, breeze in here like I said when I get the what the generator I want to get is a equal flow river but I think I'm gonna get the pro or one of those probably a little too powerful for what I need but I can also use it for when I go camping and anything else and I'm kind of getting into the whole solar power thing lately so I that's what my whole project here is to do solar pa power in here and have stuff run off solar panels and stuff like that there is going to be a lot to it like I said I want to do the green screen walls I want to get this all built and set up so there'll be a little while yeah and it's going to smell damp and probably warm or cold in here I'm going to insulate it and everything else too so that's going to happen uh, maybe get a heater or a fan in here to help circulate stuff so I'm not dying of heat or cold depending on what it is uh, I honestly got to make some room in the garage I've kind of taken over the garage with certain things and and the spare bedroom in our house and a couple other things and you know we have a shed that or a garage that nobody's parking their car in because all my junk's in there so uh, I'm gonna be making some changes in the garage still probably gonna do my beer reviews in there which is on my other channel maybe they'll be done in here I don't know I'm just kind of got a game plan up here in the head. I hope it works out. I already came in here and got rid of all the bees or whatever else was in here. Fixed some uh, holes that were in here for leaks. So we'll see what happens. Would like to actually build a shed bigger than this, uh, which I thought this is perfect. This is a 10 by 12. Right, and I think for just me, it'll be perfect once I get it the way I want. I mean, you can already see that I got some of my stuff up in here. I've got stuff down in there. I know it doesn't look like much. I've got a lot of my scraps and stuff like that hanging out in here. Um, not sure what I'm going to do with this area. But like I said, it's one project at a time. So every time I uh, get something new or get started on something, I will put it up on, on YouTube. or make a video for it of what I got or where I'm at. 
or I might just do it all at once and this might be just one long video that I have to edit who knows um, but that's it guys so that's why the Viking house isn't out quick update guys as this video was being recorded I got a package in the mail I've been waiting for this um, it is a solar light it is a solar motion light and it kind of looks like that like that's on the box pretty much exactly the same it comes with a little remote and I got this for the shed, not thinking that it runs on solar power, which is not a big thing. But if it's not dark, it's not going to turn on. Now, it's plugged in right there. I don't even know if you guys can see it. Looks like it's right about... It's in that area. I'm going to hit the on button so you can at least see the flash on it. Okay, there's the flash. But it won't stay on because it's not dark. So, as I installed the solar panel in the back ran the wire and everything else, which I did record it, okay? But for some reason, I lost it, or it didn't record properly, or whatever else, or I, stupid me, probably deleted it. Uh, you guys would've got a laugh out of it, me climbing up and down the ladder, realizing I still had the wrong drill bit every single time, three times while I was trying to drill the hole through there to put the stupid cable through, and the whole insulation process. <laughs> <laughs> but it's installed like I said that's what it looks like when you turn it on I mean you true the other options but they do all the same thing it's because the sun's out so this is kind of useless unless I disconnect the wire from the light itself or I cover up the solar panel which I'm not going to do because it's in the back and it's on the top of the roof so that's just going to look you know that's just going to take up my time so I'm going to show you it anyways uh, we'll bring the camera in here and I'll show it to you in the dark and we'll see how well it lights. So as you can see, there's still plenty of light in here. It at least looks like that to me on the camera, but in here it's way too dark to be doing any work. The doors aren't even closed. So what I'm going to do, which is, like I said, is a bit of a pain in the butt, I think. But if you want to work in the daytime, you're going to have to do this. That or probably cover up the sensor or something on here to maybe make it work with it. I don't know, something I'll have to try out. Okay, so now it's on. And now it's off. And now it's on. Mode three is probably the mode I'll be using, I'm not sure. Mode one, and I think that's like a sensor. It sensors me, and then I'll turn off after a while. Two kind of does the same thing, but I think it goes on and dim. And then you got three, and then you can actually, I don't know if I gotta hold this to do it, but. Suppose you're able to brighten it. I don't know how true that is or how that works, but that's how that does that. So let's uh, turn off the, uh, or shut the door, not turn off, but shut the door guys. And it's still gonna be pretty light here, not completely. And uh, it seems pretty light in here, or it's like bright, but it's definitely not going to be bright enough to do anything in here. I mean, I could, there's just not enough light for recording or something like that late at night. So I'm definitely gonna have to look into some other kind of lighting situation in here. I do dig this, I do kind of like this. Um, you know, maybe I can mess around with it or I'll buy another one or something and kind of get the lights to work for me. So it'll work. And it seems to be recording pretty good. I wish I could keep these doors closed so you wouldn't get any of this light because I'm thinking, what if I was in here late at night and I'm doing a video, right? As I'm moving the camera, you guys are probably going, I'm gonna throw up. I mean, once I get the solar generator in here or my uh, generator I wanna get in here, I can actually get my lights that I normally have and I can plug them into that and uh, it would light it up pretty good. Maybe having a light like this on me like this would be a bad thing. I mean, look, I mean, look right now I'm on, on right underneath it and you're getting all the shadowing because the light's coming down on me and of course it can't get past my rim so my face is covered up. So if I go like this, of course it'll light up the room, but of course my face is still dark. So that's the problem I got there. Not a big deal. I do like it. I just think maybe I have to move this, put it somewhere else maybe. Who knows? I got plenty of Plenty of room to move the cords around, or the cord that's on there around, and do what I gotta do. So we'll see what happens. I know, right? Gotta be bugging you out, right? See, if I'm like here, you can see me pretty good. So it might be one of those things where I just gotta be in the right spot for you guys to, or for it to get a good picture with that kind of light. 
Like I said, I am gonna have my umbrella light in here. I might have to get some other ones, no big deal. So there you guys go. There is our first update in the first video of the shed. I'm gonna get to that Viking house, I promise you. It should be done before the shed is done. Um, and you know, keep on watching. And remember, ring that like button like a hunchback. Till next time.